You're here because packing for long-term travel can be overwhelming when you're not used to it. Lori and I here have you covered because between the two of us, we have 24 years experience traveling six months per year. We're gonna share with you today how we pack for that. You don't want fancy dancy intros. You wanna get right to the meat of the video. Shoes would be a lot like clothing in that you're likely to tend towards packing too many. From experience, we've learned that less is more with shoes, much like clothes. And this is actually a lot for us, but because we're traveling in South America a lot this year, there's a few key, and we love to body surf, there's a few key pieces that we just could not live without and did not want to buy down here. So we can start with water shoes. We body surf many days a week. We, we can't live without these. Even in the rain, they're good to throw on and you don't care if your feet get mucky and dirty. Mm -hmm. And these shoes, they'll give you some protection. Like if you're wanting to enter a beach that has you know rocks on it that are a little bit sharp or, or debris or whatever in the water, these shoes will add that little bit of protection for you so you can feel confident going in there. Uh, we use these shoes all the time. Like Lori said, we do like to body surf. That's our main form of exercise. In fact, we made the video on it. You can check it out here. The next pair of shoes that we pack is a sneaker. Air's pair and my pair. Mine's just a regular old pair of sneakers that I can work out in, run to the corner store and that kind of thing. My sneakers are a little bit more all purpose. They're kind of like a mesh, Merrill, I think Merrill is the brand. And yeah. they're lightweight, but they're super versatile. They have the Vibram soles, which are very grippy. So I can be active in these. I can, I can be anything from uh, hiking, mountain climbing. Because they have the uh, mesh, uh, sides, I can take them in the water, which I've done a lot, whether it be fly fishing or walking up a river, what have you, and they dry really quickly. So these are lightweight, good, versatile shoes from Merrell's. I can recommend them. He's a big mountain climber. Yeah. For me, I'm the one who goes out and buys all our food and pays the bills and does little things. So I always pack a pair of flats. Air doesn't have an equivalent really, he just wears his sneakers. But I always pack a pair of flats and I wear them out generally, depending on where we're living. So they're kind of throwaway flats. The next pair of shoes that we had to pack this year, which is kind of our first year, but we recommend them, was a rain shoe. We didn't want to wear our, their neoprene and they can kind of tear if you were really walking somewhere crazy on a really scrappy road or something. So we needed just a rain shoe to walk with an umbrella in the rain. Mm -hmm. Being in Ecuador, it can rain a lot. Yes. Hey, if you're getting value from this video, now's a great time to press that like button. Let's go to flip flops. These right here are dear to my heart. These are from Crocs, and so the soles are super comfortable, but they're a laid back flip flop. And these Crocs here, I think now have been with us in seven countries, and I can highly recommend them. They are my go-to pair. It's gonna be sad because when they break, I don't know if the exact ones are for sale, but first thing I'm gonna do is jump on Crocs website and look for the most comparable set of flip flops that I can buy. Totally, and my pair of Crocs is a beautiful green one and I didn't pack it this particular year because I had uh, three or four other just cheaper um, flip-flops and I wanted to like wear one of those out and I brought it and they broke within the first couple, two weeks so I had to buy a pair of flip-flops. So I'm regretting not having my Crocs with us this year. Yeah, flip-flops are handy, super versatile. Uh, some unique settings that I wear them in is like our apartments right here, we're living just off the beach right now in Ecuador and it gets super dusty in here super quick. Yeah. So I'm always wearing my flip flops inside because I don't like putting my feet directly on a dirty floor. Second time I wear them is if we're in a shared accommodation or a hostel, something like that, I'm always wearing my flip flops in the shared areas, especially in the bathrooms. Oh, 100%. Well, that's pretty well our whole lives in four little bags. We're all packed up. Maybe we should go somewhere. I'm ready to go. We encourage you to watch this video next.